Hey everybody, so we wanted to do a little vlog of 24 hours in the life of new parents with a newborn. I woke up at like 7 something, I don't know, 7.40 I think it was, it's now 8.50 so we'll start it and finish it tomorrow at 8.50 unless I'm asleep, which fingers crossed I will be. Here he is, oh yes he's going to sleep, thankfully. This is how he likes to fall asleep with me, cuddling me. Oh. Not quite asleep yet. I'm half asleep. So it was a rough night last night because he just didn't want to sleep. Like, ever. I'm just going to lie here for a bit, I think, until I decide to move and get ready. We do have a hospital appointment at 1.30 because his eyes were like yellow. What do they call it? Like jaundice or something? The lady, the midwife did explain to me what it was. So we're just getting him like a two week checkup. And if all goes well, he doesn't need any blood tests or anything. And then we come home and find something to do because at the same time we are in self-isolation um, because yesterday Boris Johnson, um, so what's the date today? Oh the date's the 17th of March so yesterday Boris Johnson announced that all the people who are 70 and plus should self-isolate at home and avoid contact with everybody and he also said people with underlying health conditions and Ricardo has asthma so we have to self-isolate too which is a big shame because it's like Damon's first weeks of his life and there's not many people that can come and visit or well, I can't go and visit them it's quite sad really it's a big shame but it's okay it doesn't mean that they're not gonna meet him it just means they're not gonna see him like when he's just tiny he might be a little bit bigger when people meet him but that's okay So I'm up and out of bed. It did take me a very long time to get out of bed, but that's what happens when you don't have anything to do. So it's about five to 10. So it did take me about an hour or so to actually get out of bed. I'm just getting ready. I'm gonna put some, a little bit of makeup on my face so that I look a little bit more alive. I literally don't actually care about wearing makeup. It's because I just look more alive. Like, I don't look like I'm dead or a zombie. After that, I don't know what I'm going to do. Obviously, we've got the doctor's appointment at 1.30 at the hospital. So, I have until 1 to do something. I can't waste my time. Damon is asleep on his little sheep down there. He likes to make lots and lots of noises while he sleeps. Sometimes, he does this weird, like, thing where he doesn't actually breathe. He's like... <coughs> it's really weird. And I have to be like, breathe, breathe. He also does it when he's drinking milk too. So it's about 10.30, the hospital just called and asked if we could go in early because they're having staffing issues. So we're going in now. So they asked if we could be there for 11. So I'm getting everything ready. I was just pumping my boobs because they hurt and I had to stop um, midway. So I'll come back and do that. And here is Ricardo feeding Damon because I was pumping my boobs. We had this ready, but now we've got to go in a rush. So it's quite a big bottle for a little baby, yeah. but he copes with it well. Hello, Damon. Ciao, Damon. He looks completely out of it. Is he tired? No, he's got his eyes wide open. Oh. <laughs> he's like staring at his finger. <laughs> You're looking at your finger. You're looking at your finger. He looks so angry as well. <laughs> what is this finger? So he finished at the hospital. Everything's fine. He doesn't have any jaundice. They just weighed him and he has gained one pound since he was born. So he now weighs 7.13. When he was born he weighed 6.13. So he's a very hungry boy. And the lady said I don't look like somebody who's given birth recently because my tummy's shrunken quite a lot. So I've just changed him and fed him and look at his little cute hands. It's like he's going for a meeting or something and his little outfit. That's it. Say cheese for the camera. Cheese. I've dressed him in a little baby suit, I guess, because he's going to grow out of it soon and he would have never have worn it. Well, I want to start putting him in clothes where he's literally going to go out of being able to wear them soon and there's quite a few of them that you probably can't wear anymore so the time is probably about half 12 now what have i done with my day i feel like i've literally done nothing apart from wake up attempt to pump my boobs and fail because then we go to the hospital for the appointment come back change his nappy fed him that's the life of a new mum at the moment 
and Ricardo is currently cleaning the kitchen for us and then hopefully gonna make us lunch. This afternoon we had lunch. Ricardo made us tortellini with cheese. So we had that while we watched TV and looked at Damon sat on the floor, well not sat on the floor, lying in his sheet. And then afterwards I did my nails. So thankfully Ricardo's there because if Ricardo wasn't there, I think it'd be quite difficult to do my nails. Although Damon didn't wake up, but there'd always be a risk that doing your nails, your baby would wake up and then you'd have to kind of sort him out and then your nails get destroyed. And then after that, I came to bed for a nap. My cheeks are nice and rosy from having a good sleep. Damon was actually still asleep when I was napping. So Damon's been asleep for ages. And then I heard him cry, which is the time that I was going to wake up anyway, because I set my alarm for like an hour because I didn't want to like oversleep. I thought an hour's good. Um, so then I fed Damon and he does this weird thing where he like gets really, really excited excited about eating or drinking and he just goes overboard and it's like he needs to calm down a little bit so now i'm just tidying up all the clothes that we've had um out on the era and ricardo said that he would like to take a little bit of a nap which he never does so he's gonna do that to be honest i don't ever nap I only started napping since we had Damon because it is tiring having a baby and being up. You lose, I don't know, I'd say I lose like two hours of sleep every night um, because I'm up like half an hour every single time with him. So I'm going to go and fold the clothes. Damon's asleep again. <laughs> he fell asleep straight away after I fed him. Um, and then I'll make dinner. Somebody's waking up. Or oh, just getting fussy in their sleep. I love his little faces that he makes when he wakes up and stretches. <laughs> oh no! It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna watch something on TV. Well, not on TV. I think I'm gonna watch something on now TV. I'm watching a movie. Possibly. I never know what to watch. I always spend like half the time trying to find something to watch. I just did some pumping. I got loads of milk. Those two are full. Well, that's full for me. Obviously it's not going to go up to there because that'd be a bit too much. It's dinner time now and I am going to make zucchini risotto. Risotto. Courgette risotto. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But the sad thing is because um, Ricardo's family was meant to be coming to us next week but obviously it is on lockdown so flights have all been cancelled and they can't make it anymore so that's a really big shame they were gonna bring like cheese <laughs> and you want to see all the cheese that we have left <laughs> this is the cheese we have left that's the parmesan in england like the one that we get is like literally like a mouse size wedge and it's two pounds doesn't last us very long because this is the main cheese that we use so I just wanted to show you that because I started cooking dinner, Damon got hungry while I started and because I had pumped earlier, the easiest thing for me to do was to give the bottle to Ricardo so that Ricardo could feed him so that I could carry on cooking. It happens sometimes. Yesterday it happened that I we started eating our dinner and then Damon was hungry so I had to stop eating my dinner and then he pooped so I changed his nappy. The things just do not go like to plan when you have a newborn at all. There's just like no schedule. That just can't be a schedule, it's impossible. This is how we're spending our evening after we've had dinner. Damon's looking at Ricardo. He's wide awake. Mr. We're hoping that means that he will sleep tonight. And we're watching Netflix. Depends on your concession. The time is currently 9.08. I'm showered, I've washed my hair, dried my hair, and I'm gonna jump in bed and I'm gonna watch a TV program. So a TV program I'm watching at the moment is called Liar, it's on ITV. So I do like to chill in bed for about an hour. I'm like watching things, I watch YouTube or catch up in TV programs. Damon is asleep in his car. He'll probably wake up, I would say, in the next hour. And then he'll probably wake up at one. Um, it probably will take him quite a while. Once he's awake at 10, it'll probably take him quite a while to get back to sleep. So that's what normally happens every night. Oh no, he's opening his eyes now. He might just drift back. It's open. Oh no, he's gonna cry. Oh, no, he's okay. Fingers crossed, he stays asleep for the next hour. Ah! Oh, Damon. It's okay. So it's been 24 hours and it's time to end this vlog. 
and I've got little demons sat here next to me wide awake so the time is now 9.58 he's just been sat here pooping and smiling at us I think he woke up at about quarter to one and then he woke up an hour later and then he didn't wake up until about five when he woke up I was like awake for about an hour with him and then he woke up at 8.20 which was nice. That is our 24 hours in the life of a newborn with a new parent. We will be bringing out a birth story soon, so make sure that you watch out for that. We will see you in the next video. Bye. You say bye. Your hiccups. Bye bye.